Our world is made up of complex webs of living things called ecosystems. All these living things, plants and animals, have basic needs for food, water, air and shelter. Some of these needs are for non-living things like air, water and sunlight, but most living things rely on other living things to meet their basic needs. Humans get many of their basic needs from the plants and animals that they farm. We need to make sure that we farm in a responsible, sustainable way so that we do not damage the environment or the ecosystems that exist in the world around us. In this video, we will look at how humans sustainably farm chickens for food and how we manage environments in order to ensure that we can continue to produce food and fibre in the future. Eggs laid by meat chicken breeder hens, which live in big barns full of nests, are collected and sent to a hatchery. At the hatchery, they are placed in a machine called a setter, which controls the temperature and humidity so that the eggs are kept at the perfect temperature. The machine also turns the eggs over every hour. Just before they are ready to hatch, the eggs are moved to a hatcher machine that is kept warm to help the hatching process. Once the chicks have hatched, they are taken to the rearing farm to grow. A rearing farm is made up of large barns where the chickens live. Each barn has its temperature and humidity controlled by a computer that adjusts the ventilation to keep the barn at just the right temperature. The ideal temperature changes as the chickens grow. When they are small and still have their yellow down feathers, they need to be kept in warmer conditions. The floor of the barn is covered in loose, dry material like wood shavings, which helps to keep the chickens comfortable. Food and water are supplied to them by automatic feeders and drinkers, which ensure they always have clean water and specially prepared food to eat. When the chickens are old enough, some farms allow them to go outside for fresh air and sunshine. Meat chicken farmers manage the environment of the chickens from when they are a day old until they are old enough to go to the processing plant to be turned into the meat we eat. This level of management is important to ensure that the chicken meat we eat is good quality and that the chickens grow up healthy and comfortable. The number of chicks allowed in one barn is limited so that all the chickens have enough room to move around and easily find feed and water. Meat chicken farmers check on the birds regularly to make sure they are healthy and growing well. The chickens are provided with specially formulated food as they grow so they get all the energy, protein, vitamins and minerals needed at each stage of their life and have good quality water to drink at all times. The farmers also manage the farm environment by keeping out germs. All visitors to the farm have to wear special protective clothing and disinfect their shoes to protect the chickens from getting sick from diseases that people might be carrying on their clothing, footwear or body. The farmer also keeps them away from other birds, animals and insects to prevent them from catching diseases. If the birds get sick, they may be treated with medicines under the supervision of a veterinarian. When the chickens are big enough, they are collected from the rearing farm and get taken to a processing plant. The processing plant is where the chickens are humanely killed. Their feathers are plucked and any other parts of the chicken that aren't going to be eaten by humans is removed. Some parts of the chicken not used for human food is used in other ways, like pet food. The chicken carcasses are then sorted by size and sometimes cut up into smaller pieces before being packaged and sent off to the shops or restaurants. Some of the chicken meat may go to another plant to be made into other food products such as chicken nuggets before going out to shops and restaurants. Chicken can be part of a healthy, balanced diet. This is because chicken is a nutritious food high in protein and contains a range of vitamins and minerals. Skinless chicken breast is also low in fat. When we cook a healthy, balanced meal that includes chicken, we should add vegetables and complex carbohydrates. To prepare a healthy chicken salad, there are some important steps to follow. 
First, it is important to keep raw chicken meat in the fridge below five degrees right up until you are ready to cook. Before preparing any meal, make sure you wash your hands carefully. After you have finished cutting up the chicken, wash your hands and all the utensils you used, including chopping boards. It can be a good idea to have one chopping board you only use for chicken and a different one for vegetable or other foods that you can eat raw. Add the chicken to the frying pan with some oil and cook carefully. It is important that you cook it until the meat is no longer pink and the juices run clear. Now you can add the chicken to the salad vegetables and enjoy!